coming to you with great news. We're booked. We're going to Spain. Honestly, researched so much this morning and I feel like we just had so many great options and I didn't know where to start. Like I looked up the best places in Italy, best places in Spain, and I was just like trying to find a good deal. Um, there are so many other ways to find like affordable places, but we just used Airbnb primarily because it's just like convenient and we're kind of in a hurry <laughs> to get something booked. But we found this really charming little location in Sevilla. 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 Seville. In Spanish. It's um, Sevilla. Yeah, Sevilla. So we're going to Seville, which is a really easy commute. We're going to end up going south of Portugal, get in a few more day trips. I don't know what's next, but it's a good start to our Monday. Good job. We're starting. We did it! We did it. And we're going far up. Yes. We got a train to far That's up. That's what I just said, we're going south. Oh, Good. Yeah. CJ doubted me. Remember on that last week's vlog? Let's insert last week's clip. Where do you think we're staying, CJ? <laughs> oh, I'm excited to see where we end up. Where do you think we're gonna end up? Portugal. Yeah, he said Portugal. Mm -hmm. And look oh, at us we're now. We're close. Good morning. We only have a few days left in Lisbon, so we are up a little bit early, and we just wanna like check out some places without people in them. Um, there's like some photos that we want to take of like architecture and it's just like so much easier when there's not harsh lighting or people um, So we'll see how it goes, but then we're just gonna plan to get brunch scooter CJ just got some new jeans denim shorts Yeah Am I European yet? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it kind of looked dark, but um He's feeling himself so hopefully I'll be able to get him to take some photos today All right, we made it to pink street we're at Set, Street. Setting up. Should be a nice picture. Okay, I have scooter hair. We have been scootering like everywhere around the city, mopeding, I don't know what you call it, but it's just so fun. It's just a fun way to get around the city and like see a whole bunch of places. But we are currently at the Golden Gate Bridge. Just kidding. <laughs> Isn't it called like Abril Day 25? Abril. Yeah. I think that's when it was built. But um, it literally is so similar to the uh, San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. I cannot talk. Um, I think it was built by the same architect. It wasn't. I actually looked this up. It wasn't built by the same architect. It was built by a San Francisco like Bay Area based architect. And it was the same one that built the Bay Bridge. It, it's stunning. So we're just going to try to fly the drone around here. And... Honestly, if I can give you any tip while you're traveling, it's like get up early. CJ's not an early person, but like 7 a.m. this morning, I was like, yes, ready to go. And it like, am I convincing you to be an early person? What? No, I'm just kidding, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty nice. So I'm about to go to the barber because my beard is getting a little crazy. So we'll see how it goes. I try to go to a barber in all the foreign countries I visit just to see what it looks like. So I'll uh, hop on after this and show you. All right, beard update. Got a cut. Leona doesn't notice much of a difference, but it feels a lot cleaner to me. Yeah. I think I'm just cutting it like this, getting it even so I can grow it out a little bit more. So yeah. That should be fun. Oh my gosh. That's much better. Yeah, so much better. Okay, it is our last day in Lisbon, which is insane. Oh, I like when you hold the camera. It's nice. It's like a, yeah. a lot of work. Um, it's insane. So we are going to just like walk around the trolley that's like really popular. That's what you're the, tro the trolley like that. that's... How about like that? How about like that? The trolley that's really popular at Tram 28. Is that the tram? Uh, yeah, Tram 28. Yeah, so it got really bad graffiti all over it. And so it's been like MIA for the entire month we've been here. It's been like getting spray painted um, and fixed. So I'm hoping to go over there. And I just wanted to like check it out because last time we didn't really check that spot out at all. It's a really popular photo spot and I just want to like get the tram going by. So we're going to walk over there. We haven't gone for a daily walk yet. Well, CJ went for a run. I have not gone for a walk. So that's going to be like our walk and then get some dinner, our last dinner for now because we will be back and then maybe check out sunset. So we're mostly packed, but 
We got a little bit though. We got time in the morning. We don't leave till 10 a.m. So yeah. we are gonna go explore. Okay, so we are we forgot to record at the little train. It was very busy as you we can see the streets are really busy right now Everyone's out. So we did get a photo. We'll insert that but right now insert. We're heading to the overlook to get some maybe dinner at a park bar and yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a good Spot that we haven't been to yet. Wow, this is so tall. <laughs> Does it need to be? Yeah, I think okay, it needs okay. to be. Okay. Um, we're heading to an overlook that has a like, really good sunset, and yesterday was cloudy, but today is. So we're trying to get to that top castle way up there, and we got quite the staircase to walk. You ready? Yeah, a lot of the graffiti, but like nice graffiti, I guess. Maybe a mix of both. Alright, here's how far we've made it. And here's our second set of stable. Was it worth the walk? Probably. humble abode this is where we stayed for the last month we're actually doing this late so we're packing up to leave but we wanted to give you a tour these are our grandpa and grandma chair because it's really the only place to lounge around this is our little table with the view facing the street pretty nice we got all sorts of old paintings and things around just of Lisbon oh our favorite our favorite piece of artwork is the peacocks above the bed this is our little bed that we chilled in. And Do you know what the peacocks signify? What does this mean here? Peacocks actually signify beauty and wealth because they have so many little feathers. I just made that up. I don't know what peacocks signify. Okay, moving on. We have a little actually guest bedroom that we turned into a closet. Leona's closet was like literally this bed. And then we had like some dressers and stuff, which is always good for long-term travel because we always take all our stuff out and put it in the dressers. That's where I kept all my stuff. And lastly, but definitely not least, is the kitchen. Every Airbnb we have, we have to have a kitchen because we love to cook. This wasn't much, but it got the job done. It was enough for cooking like nice Portuguese cuisine, which is just like meat and potatoes and veggies. And finally, this is our bathroom in our tiny, tiny, tiny shower that got extremely hot and scolded your skin if you turned the I'll, wrong way. I'll get it in to show it was tough. Okay, Leona will get in. <laughs> <laughs> just to... Yeah. So when you close the doors, it's actually... Super tight. You can, can you tell how small it is? Yeah, yeah. We very small. Very small. <laughs> and if you turn the wrong way you accidentally hit the handle sometimes. Yeah, these are like scalding hot because they're the hot water heaters right here. Yeah, you could <laughs> So if you move the wrong way. We learned the hard way. You're burnt. <laughs> I think that's it. Thanks for coming along on the tour and we'll see you in our next city. Also CJ doesn't realize little details like this are super charming. Oh yeah. I, I haven't looked at that since the day of the day. <laughs> we made it. We are in um, Faro area right now. So we just got off the bus and we're picking up our car. But we ended up getting a pretty spacious car. It's, it's like a full on SUV. So we're gonna have a great time. Oh, look at that. We got a big screen TV. Yeah, CJ's loving it. This is nice. We got a pretty decent sized car for the cheapest thing you can get. I know. We went to Auto Rent. There's a lot of other locations around, but this one was like almost like half the price compared to the others. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just had to share. We, we are in the Algarve and we are heading to. What's the area we're actually staying in? I have no, I need to Port figure Mal. it out because he was asking me that. Port of Mai. Um, I need to learn oh. how to successfully say these words. Um, also, this British guy just came up to me when we were in the, like, um, getting our car. And he was like, oh, you're from the U.S. You escaped Donald Trump. And I'm like, literally, that man is not our president. Like, can you <laughs> check the news? Um, anyways, I digress. We're going to look up where we're going and get some food, check into our Airbnb. It is now... 
2.30, so it has been a pretty long day so far. And we got CarPlay on the car. So <laughs> CarPlay. Love that. Are you we stoked? Need a cable. Are you loving it? Loving it. I have a cable. All right, I'm gonna get this man a cable. Our, our apartment is only like a block from this place, and it's like four o'clock, mm -hmm. but we are really hungry and we're eating. This is the only spot open, so we got some pizza, garlic butter mushrooms. Good and salad. What time is it? After all, spritz time. Spritz season, baby. Cheers. Cheers. Here is our home for the night. And then right across the street is this. We are walking around El Gor Seco, which is like just this long bridge that was used to stop pirates from coming apparently. Yeah there was a castle over there. Yeah. I think you can see it in the distance. Well maybe not on the camera. Really, not we on the camera. We can barely see it. That's right. Right there. Over there. <laughs> I mean, you can, yeah, you can, you can kind of see it. So it's just like this long pathway along the water. So many boats. place by our house. We got some clams and as usual gambas aka shrimp. And we got Fatatis Bravas on the way. We are going paddle boarding this morning. We're checking out the caves. Um, <laughs> to walk the paddle board down this really long struggle. Yeah. <laughs> really steep hill. But it has been a morning. It took a struggle to get here but we are doing it and we're gonna go paddle boarding for the next two hours. Carry our big paddle board. It's heavy as it looks, but it's a little hard. It's a little awkward to carry it all the way down this hill. All right, we just came back to change and 10 out of 10 would recommend, but maybe not going, yeah, go earlier. We want it to go earlier and then we just like didn't wake up in time, but it is so busy and right now. It's like 11.30 and it's like so busy. So we're gonna go drive around, or no, we're gonna go fly the drone right now. Yeah. All right, so we are at the Cave Overlook. I don't know if a lot of people know about this because there are like thousands of people it feels like and like no one's on this trail. So you have to go up not terrible, just a few stairs and there's this beautiful overlook. We gon' have to get that right. Please fall back into these thighs. We cool down to different skies. Take your hand and take you out. I'm the one, yeah, and you know that girl. It's enough, babe, to take control of the world. Well, we just got done at the Bengali Caves. It was a lot of fun, there was a lot of people. We were very hungry, and we ate before we started recording. Camera did not eat first today. 
We finished lunch and it's kind of a stressful situation driving through these roads. They're so tight. I don't know. I don't know that we're making it through. Maybe we just park right here. It's just right here. We can just walk. Alright. So, it's stressful. <laughs> so, we're just going to park, I guess, and walk and see what we see. Yeah, but it is so crowded over by the beaches. We're like, I think where we're staying and like that strip in general is just really crowded. So we're trying to like off-road a little bit and just find some less popular places. But obviously, judging by the amount of cars, maybe that's not really possible. Like summer in Algarve is crazy. But we're gonna walk and see what we find. We've been on the hunt. We have, to we have to trek down these questionable stairs. How are you feeling? We are home. Just for a minute. Yeah, we came home because we're so tired. So we showered, changed. Let's give you a little outfit check. Oh, you cannot really tell at all. Okay, well, we're gonna give you a little outfit peek. You can't really see, I'm just wearing a dress. Got some sandals. Got a little cardi. I don't know if I'm gonna need this, but I feel cold. Who are you wearing? Uh, I'm just wearing some shorts and a nice little button down. Cool, Looking comfortable. Cute. Classic. Collected. Also, <laughs> collected. <laughs> Here is our little apartment tour. I will show you. You walk in, a little table. It is a mess, a hot mess, but we have microwave, coffee maker, fridge, and <laughs> it's actually two double beds, but you know, we're making it work. And there actually is a kitchen, which is like the craziest part. There is a stove top and like literally all the cooking, cook, cooking, kitchen, jeez, uh, all the cooking materials you need. And then the shower is like, pretty decent actually we just showered so pretty decent not too bad so most places in the algarve right now like summer's crazy busy so most places that we found were like upwards of two three hundred a night and that's great if we were on vacation we'd probably do that but since we're like traveling full time this is what we do this is how we live it's like is it really that important to us to pay extra for a place and so what we're realizing is this place is actually an incredible location and we have been in this apartment like one hour yeah. and then we'll sleep and that's it. So if you're coming and you wanna spend time in your apartment and you wanna to like be an epic place, fair, fine. But if you're like coming as a couple for like a week, you're probably gonna eat out. You're probably gonna be beach days. You can cook if you need to, like this is such a good place. So I will definitely share, um, Share the link to that. I think you'll have the link to the Lisbon Airbnb and the this Airbnb because we'll be out of them. So I like to share them just in case they're helpful. That way you guys can see um, what we're where we're staying. I never want to like recommend places that we hate. So obviously if that happens, knock on wood, we have not had that happen yet. But I won't share it. Um, but yeah, this is good. We're gonna go get some dinner, walk the strip, and I feel like we've gotten a lot in today. I don't know if we remember to record everything, but. We recorded a lot. All right. It might well, just be a lot. We did a lot. Things, so. It is now 7 o'clock, 6 30, and we're gonna go grab some food. So we decided to come to this place called Happy's because we heard they have like the biggest, best fish and chips. And today, no, yesterday when we were eating, I was like, I really want fish sticks. And so mm -hmm. this is like the closest we're gonna get. So we just ordered fish and chips, and he said it's big. So I'm. Very excited. I think it's gonna be really good. I'm really excited. Salsa pictures. It smells like like chili, like chili maybe, but I don't know, do we just like take it off? I think we just take then... one at a time. Let's see. Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's like hard to get off. And then this okay. pod is like fish this and chips. This is massive, massive. can for size. It is huge. <laughs> so, bone up tea. Good morning. It is like 6 a.m. 
it is 6 a.m. a little bit before we woke up really early today we're gonna catch sunset at one of the beaches and then we're going on a boat tour how you feeling CJ I'm tired. he's doing it though he's not a morning person but he's doing it and it's so worth it like I think he really like yesterday we went to the caves and we were like it would have been so nice if we just like would have gotten here earlier like been the first people it's just nice to get up early so we're tired but around like noon we're gonna be on a beach the rest of the day so it's gonna be worth it um it's pitch black outside so i'm really excited to catch sunset hopefully it's a good one or sunrise we made it tj's on his element flying the drone yeah i forgot to document but it was stunning this isn't the best angle but it's unreal It was worth it. <laughs> I think we've convinced him to be an early bird. <laughs> All right, off <laughs> it is hard, but it's so worth it. So off to the next place. It is 7.30 and the sunrise was beautiful. It's a little cloudy, but we're hoping that maybe it stays like that because our boat tour is at 9.15 and like maybe it won't be too hot. So we're gonna head to our next place and then um, yeah, get some breakfast. Made it to the next beach. Is it cold? It's a little cold, yeah. It feels, it feels <laughs> There's some new shells that washed up. So we just found a good one for Kara. Let's do it. Where's the shell? Look how good that is. Kara, you're gonna love it. We're gonna find you some more. So look how beautiful this is. Alright, we're on the boat. We booked this last night, like late last night, and we basically have a private tour. There's only oh, yeah. one other couple. So Hopefully we see something fun. Going to explore the caves. We've done a lot. <laughs> it's been a busy day. We just finished our boat tour and on the boat tour, I think it's really great because you can like see all of the beaches and then just like mark the ones that look kind of secluded because we've been on a hunt for a good private beach. <laughs> Should we just walk this way? Sure. Um, it it's really foggy right now, so it's probably gonna clear, but we are on the hunt because we found this really um, secluded? like secluded beach. It's just like, there's just like a cave in the middle. So that's what we're, on the hunt for and we don't really <laughs> know where it is but i've pinned it on a map and we're gonna go find it it's also very steep so hopefully we'll be able to find a trail to get down to the yes beach. it's like a straight you basically the secluded beaches are secluded for a reason it's not because they're not great it's because they're a little bit it's the road less traveled this is the look of defeat couldn't find it we couldn't find it we looked so we look for so long yeah. and I just don't understand our bus, our bus, our boat driver made it seem like it was so like impossible to miss. Yeah, we went to one trail and it ended up just ending in a sheer cliff. But we did read reviews that say there's so much erosion that the path isn't available, but we saw people on the path. So maybe they kayaked and it really isn't available anymore. Um, and the trail we found was it, but there was literally no way of getting down unless you just like rolled. So. We're, we're defeated. Yeah. But we're gonna uh, go try to find... I mean, we live right next to a beach. It's yeah. a little bit more crowded. It's very crowded, but we're just gonna try to go to a spot. And just relax. Get some lunch and just relax. So, yeah. Just know that not everything always ends in a win. But you're still winning if you're trying. Yeah. We've been hanging at the beach. Mom called and then now we're gonna go get a foot massage. Yeah. 
Yeah, we messaged the place when we were at the beach and they messaged us back and they're like, we have two available at 6 p.m. It's like 5.45, so we're on our way. Go get a massage after walking literally like 20 miles in two days. It's been crazy, so we're excited about this. She. We already had a couple appetizers that Leona remembered before we got our got into our main course. Poke bowl and a salmon teriyaki roll. So delicious, and this place is be so, good. so cute. Good morning. Okay, we decided this is the end of the vlog. <laughs> so we're heading to Faro right now to grab some breakfast, and then we're actually going to drop off our rental car and head to the airport to catch a bus to Sevilla, also known as Seville. I feel like people have said it a few other ways, but yeah. we're trying to say it Sevilla because I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it in Spanish. So it is like a southern city in Spain. It's supposed to be very hot, um, but we found what we think is a really cute location and CJ's taking Spanish le Spanish. Spanish? Spanish <laughs> lessons while we're there and yeah, so our time in the Algarve is up. We're gonna redo it all. So they dropped us off at the airport. We are walking across the parking lot right now. It's apparently this, you gotta walk a mile to get to your bus. So <laughs> walking to the bus. And uh, yeah, next time you see us, we'll be in Spain. Is there anything I've missed? I feel no. like I really butchered this ending. So you wanna, you wanna finish strong? Sure. Well, that's it for Portugal. We bid you farewell. And obrigado. See you in Spain. See you next time.